Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today we're going to learn how to install WordPress on a subdomain using cPanel. This is perfect if you want to create a separate blog, test new features, or just keep things organized. Let's dive right in. Step 1. Create a subdomain. First things first, we need to set up our subdomain, log into cPanel. In your cPanel dashboard, look for the Domains section and click on Domains or Subdomains. To create the subdomain, enter the name you want for your subdomain. For example, blogforblog.example.com. Choose the main domain from the dropdown. If you have more than one parent domain, make sure to uncheck the Share Document Root box. Click Create to Finish. Verify the subdomain. Visit your subdomain URL, like blog.example.com, to ensure it's active. You should see a default page or a confirmation that the subdomain is live. Step 2. Set up a database. Next, we need to create a database for WordPress. In cPanel, go to the Databases section and click on MySQL Registered Trademark Databases. Enter a name for your database, for example, WP underscore blog, and click Create Database. Scroll down to MySQL Users and create a new user with a strong password. Click Create User. Under Add User to Database, select the user and database you created. Click Add and then grant all privileges to the user. Click Make Changes. Step 3. Download and upload WordPress. Now, let's get WordPress installed. Go to WordPress.org and download the latest version of WordPress. It will come as a zip file. In cPanel, open the file manager and navigate to your subdomain's document root. For example, public underscore HTML slash blog. Click Upload and select the WordPress zip file. Once uploaded, find the zip file in File Manager, right-click it, and choose Extract. Confirm the extraction location. If WordPress files are in a folder, move them to the root directory. Select the content right click and choose move enter the path to your subdomains root and click move files step 4 install WordPress let's finish up the installation go to your subdomain URL for example HTTP colon slash slash blog dot example dot com in your browser this will start the WordPress setup select your preferred language and click continue Enter database information, 1. Database name. Enter the name of the database you created, for example, wp underscore blog. 2. Username. Enter the MeScale username, 3. Password. Enter the MeScale user password, 4. Database host. Leave as local host unless directed otherwise, 5. Table prefix. Use wp underscore or change it if you have multiple WordPress sites, 6. Set up WordPress. Click submit, then run the installation. Fill in your site title, admin username, and password. Enter your email address and click Install WordPress. Once the installation is complete, click Log In and use your admin credentials to access the WordPress dashboard. And there you have it. You've successfully installed WordPress on your subdomain using cPanel. You're now ready to start customizing and adding content. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching TrueHost Academy and see you in the next video.